Mm. That wouldn't have been good. Left my door wide open. All right. Let's go. I think I'm going to actually cast off the shore before I even launch. Because uh, when I fished this a couple months ago, actually it's probably about a month, maybe a month and a half, I caught a few uh, bass right here with a chatterbait. But I'm actually going to try to hit it with a whopper plopper. It's still real early. It's water levels down ridiculously low. You can see the water's usually up there. So I'll get my rods on down here and uh, probably just gonna toss that whopper plopper real quick. See if I can get anything on the, by the way, I just scrubbed the kayak, got all the stains off of it from the nasty river. This way here, this lake isn't cross contaminated. I scrubbed it down with uh, some dish soap, some hot water. Tried to get out yesterday fishing and uh, ended up getting rained out, like big time rained out. It was horrible. Thunder, lightning. It's only out there for about 30 minutes too. This is so shallow right here, I honestly don't even know if there will be any fish down here. So shallow. Ooh, there's one. There is one. <laughs> well, first cast, guys. I hope this day doesn't go bad, though. But hey, first cast. Can't make this up. Not a bad one, either. Not a bad one, either. Oh, it ended up being a pickerel. All right, see you later, buddy. No, you can go that way. There you go, pickerel. There he goes, he's swimming away. That was a pickerel. I should have known. They're so aggressive. It's so shallow over here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a good bite until I uh, get out past that dock. That pickerel wanted some of the plopper. Same spot. See if I call any of them guys up. There's one. Another pickerel. Oh man. I think we gotta get out of this. I think we're gonna have to get out of this spot. That's a big one too. Come here. Don't be putting a it's a big pickerel. Alright, we're gonna get some pliers on you because uh you guys are real pains. Her out, bro. Get over here. One more hook, and you're out. See ya. I gotta check my line. Don't seem too bad. All right, well, another pick roll. Ugh. What did he fling over here? Is this a tooth? No way. Pickerel tooth. 
trying to get it out with my pliers. I think it flew over and landed on my, uh, it landed on my, um, my fish finder. It's an actual tooth. That is freaking crazy. Hopefully that stays there. <laughs> Could have swore I just saw a big fish going that way. Could have swore that was a big fish going that way. So I was just seeing things. Nope. That was. <laughs> I, I, I saw his tail going by. And uh, I just happened to cast at him and... I ended up catching him, which is awesome. But I saw his tail going by. I was reeling in this way, and he was swimming across that way. I saw his tail going. I was—I didn't know how big he was, or she. But uh, it's definitely a nice fish right here. It's probably a little—I'd say two and a quarter. It's eating up well. Eating up very, very good. Let me get this camera off here. This little spot. I can't even get that spot away. I don't even know what that spot is. I don't even know if it'll affect the filming, but we'll do it with both of these cameras. Nice fish. Got the meat. That was probably in about 12 feet of water. I always have fun fishing it because I'm usually the only one out here on this lake nobody really fishes it there's no public access really I kind of sneak in there's another one same spot guys this one wow this one feels like a way better one here this feels like a monster I'm not even lying <laughs> unless it's a pickerel I can't see it right now though no it's a nice largey Wow, this is definitely a quality bass, guys. Oh, there we go. Same spot that other one was. Maybe that was the male. This might be the female. This might be the female. Sorry about that. Look at that. This is a big one. It's got to go close to three. It's got to be close to three. Put together a bag. How about that, guys? 2.77. Sweet. 2.77. That's a nice fish. Almost a three. There we go. <sighs> Feeding up good. A belly on that thing.
There's one. Ah, is this a pickerel? That's a bass. That's a nice bass. There we go. Up from right that dock right there. Oof, Jesus. He's all over the place. Getting cameras all wet and everything. Oh, man. I don't even know how that's going to look, but hopefully it ain't too bad. Stout little guy. I wouldn't say little. Nice. Inhaled it. Saki. It's got to be two and a quarter, I'd say. Straight up inhaled it. There we go. Man, that's a nice bass. Nice belly. Yeah, buddy. Flap your little flappers like you're swimming. <laughs> He's gone. Awesome. I love that little acrobatics they do. Sweet. It's been a while since we got one, guys. They're still uh, still hitting on this chatterbait. Definitely going to buy more of these colors. I never was never a big guy with red, but man, it really works on these on these jackhammers. This red and this pumpkin, especially here in upstate New York. I've been using them on a few different lakes, and they've been working so. And then I got that, uh, I think that's a Kitek trailer right there. I love it when a backlash turns into a catch. <clears throat> Just a little guy. guy but look at this big old arch he's got on the top <laughs> isn't that crazy how tall that is in the back it's nuts There's a fish. Hey, we got one. Oh, and it came off. I reeled it up too freaking far. Jesus. What a clusterfuck that was. He won't bite again. But he wasn't a monster. That is one. That's a good one. So there was more over there. Oh, and the jig comes right out. Good thing we got this net. Easy. 
there is. Oh, sorry there, sucker. Ugh. Pretty good size. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today. I uh, hope you guys had some fun. We uh we definitely got some nice bass, nothing huge. You know, right around that two pound, two and a half, two and three quarter mark. I think I already lost track. We probably got like eight of them, but we got them all on this uh, jackhammer. First one got bit off by a stupid pike, but or pickerel. I don't know what it was, but it was big. And um, good thing we had another one there, so we kept fishing. But uh, this is a nice little local lake. No motors allowed. I kind of like that for kayaking. Keeps the lake super clean too. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys like this episode and uh, have a good day, you son of a fish. <laughs>